What's up everybody? I'm MJ from Novacast and welcome to another video. Are you sick of Aloy just being a badass and want to show her who's boss and Horizon Call of the Mountain? Here we are. So before we even get to the challenge hub, go to the control and movement settings and make sure that you have the movement speed set to fast and the play position set to seated. However, the trick here for the assault course part is that you're actually going to play while standing up. This tricks the game into thinking that you're taller than you actually are and it allows you to grab things a lot more easily. Next you go into accessibility and make sure that you have auto load arrows enabled, aim assistance set to enabled plus gaze, and the crimson reach multiplier set to 2.0 times. That will help you. For this video, you'll see the assault course being done first. However, you will not be able to fully complete this until closer to the end of the game when you have all of your tools. Let's put my sun disk to the test on this course. Even though you won't be able to use all tools in this run, you still cannot complete it until you've gotten most of your tools. Here we go. Now, here we go. So, jump. Try to grab it to the left if you can, and climb up as fast as possible. Again, playing while standing, while setting it to seated, makes this a lot easier. Whenever you climb on ropes like this, you're going to want to use both hands to slide down the rope in order to increase your overall speed. Get to the top, and what you're going to do here is jump, grab the rope, and then let go. Make sure to grab it again before you reach the bottom so you do not die, because that would be no fun. Next, you're going to see a split in the path here. You can go to the left where you see the yellow gate, and then you can go off to the right as well, or go to the right. But we're going to go to the left here. So in the tool selector, select your pickaxe. You only have to use it for one hand, and then grab the other one behind your shoulder. Once you get to the top, run, and then you're going to want to select your rope caster. Throw it, and then pull, let go, and hold onto the rope, and climb down with both hands. Scurry along, and then select the rope dart. Stab it into the pad, throw, and then climb down. Again, two hands. There is a diverging path here. You want to stick to the left path. Take your grapple hook, throw it up above you, and then wait for the rope to come down so you can climb up. Quick like a bunny. Go, go, go. Going through one more gate here. Select the grapple hook again. Throw it, but do not jump right away. You will die. Wait a couple seconds. Jump. Grab the rope, let go, and then grab it again towards the bottom. Scurry, scurry, scurry. And then go down the final rope, climb down with both hands real quick, and you should be able to beat Aloy's time here. What you need is over 1,500 points, as you see that I got here. And now, if you accomplish this, you can tell Aloy to suck it. Haha! -ha. Next, we got the archery range. This one's a lot easier to accomplish, in my opinion. Having uh, auto-loaded arrows helps this go by much easier. A big tip here is that there's a black target that is kind of towards the back where the waterfall is. Try to hit that as often as you can. Usually, he will give some sort of audio indicator, whether you can hear the arrow hit the target or he'll say something like he will hear in just a second where he says the word naturally. But if you're hitting those back targets, don't just wait for the arrow to land to, as confirmation. Move forward. Because a lot of this is also to complete this in a decent time. Naturally. Ideally, you're going to want to get under 50 seconds. If you manage to surpass 1,500 points here, congratulations. You can tell Aloy to suck it again. All right. Hopefully this helps for you. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, let me know. Until next time, I'm MJ from Novacast, and peace out, my friends.